symbols we found in the Elue temple. They're fascinating. Speaking about the temples, the Talans didn't build them, right? The ancients must have used special techniques to raise the four temples. They didn't share their technology with us. How often are they used? There are no codex ceremonies anymore. It has been the only activity in the temple since Palana was built. The mountain village gathers the four essences in one unique location. And yet the Yods chose a temple to bring me back here. I wonder why. The Yods speak in mysterious ways, Ulukai. I have to go now. All right, I'm gonna go after the Codex, so I'll have a closer look at the place. Adolfa surely needs his Darushams. Good luck. Leah's out. Doc, leader of Emiya, I salute you. I could never have expected this. If my father, Cosmere, could see me now. This all happened thanks to you, Ulukai. Is the Galenda in any kind of trouble? It looks fine to me. Look again. She is in pain, Ulukai. Can't you hear it? She cries all moon long. I'm her mother, and I don't know how to help her. You have to do something. What do you want me to do? Please don't ask for a bedtime story. I don't know any of those. Those damned Kemenai are attacking her. They've been circling the village, lured in by the stench of our ventilopes. Azan knows how to handle a few more wings. Be cool. <sighs> I will not be cool. Azan can keep the Kemenai away from the ventilopes, but he cannot shoot anywhere around my daughter. The Kemenai are smart, so they stick to her back like parasites and feed on her. Ugh. Ripping her flesh apart, bite after bite, and I can only stand here watching. Azan is not skilled enough. He would miss the target and hurt my baby even more. Okay, okay, let me handle this. Amiya is looking good. Nice job, Doc. The village is good, but the villagers are despairing. Are you kidding me? What do they have to complain about? You guys are safe. Harvest is harvesting, no climbers falling from the treetops anymore, and Zorkins for everyone. I mean, tie a few hammocks to those trees, and Emiya wouldn't be far from my idea of paradise. They're children, Ulukai. They miss their children. The young Talans who went north for work have probably been captured by the invaders. I believe they are now slaves in the Helidium mines of Desan. I want them free, back where they belong, back to their families. The same families who called you a fool not so long ago? To lead Amiya, I must leave my past behind. These families are my family. It's my duty to help them. The village won't survive another attack if I'm not around. I know. I cannot ask you to stay here. I'll ask Azan to train more protectors. Azan's bow can't do much against the invaders, I'm afraid. What are you suggesting, my friend? I don't know. Maybe the Dalatai Guardians can help secure the village if they have access to proper weapons. You're the leader now. It's your call. I am not a coward like Hatso. We will fight these invaders with whatever we have. Your girl is taking care of the harvest all by herself? Not bad. I told you to keep the faith, Ulukai. The will of the Yods is finally revealed. Amiya prospers. Yeah, I wouldn't pop the champagne quite yet. The invaders could come back at you with everything they got. End your worries, Ulukai. Azan is training more protectors. Morag harvesting is back on track. Amiya is growing stronger than it ever was. They have enough firepower to raise this place to the ground. Stay sharp, Doc. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. My adventure continues. Be good. Yard speed, Ulukai. <laughs> What's up, Moore? Find any new climbers? No one as valuable as Doc. I have a bad feeling about Hatso. Is he a sore loser? He chose exile, not out of dignity, but out of fear. He knows the invaders will return here with force. But I have known Hatso for many moons. He'll be back. 
with a vengeance. What about you? No hard feelings? You wanted to become a chief. Ah. All I ever wanted was respect for my social class. Doc comes from the treetops, just like I did. He gave me new responsibilities. He has all my support. New responsibilities? Doc has tasked me with the breeding of Quart, the vomiting clan. My people have started to grow it in the treetops so that Galenta has easy access to it. However, there are complications. What's the problem? Quart lasts for many cycles, but it only grows during the rainy season. If we want to accelerate its development now, we need more water. I don't remember the last time it rained in this dimension, so what's plan B? Azan captured the Venelope and tried to teach it to suck water from the lakes and spray it on the plants. But Venelopes are wild, and Azan is no tamer. He kept threatening the animal with his bow. I wouldn't have fared any better. Yeah, well, the Venelope's gone now. Azan shot at it, and it blew away. Can't he get an expert to tame the damn birds? To tame a Venelope, you need one, many moons of practice, and two, a Venelope. Venelopes are very rare in the meal. Azan only caught one by mistake. He was aiming at something else completely. When I was a kid, I taught our parrot to imitate the sound of the doorbell. It drove my mom nuts. That's the limit of my bird training skills, though. You know where I can find an expert? Sap has been quite successful at training their Venelopes to fish. A tamer there could teach him how to water our plants. Zorkins won't be an issue if you can strike us a deal with Sap. Here. When could I ever say no to the beach? I'll find someone. Maybe they rent surfboards over there. The Zorkins I gave you are not for leisure time. Can't a man get one single day off? Jeez. Catch you later, Moore. Much later, okay? way to activate Palana's master Daoka Ulakai. Even though the pilgrims are not allowed to use it, it's still a useful way to access the village. Can you raid the outpost I marked on your map? It's located near you. Raiding outposts is what I do. You can count on me, Elias. Azan, can I talk to you? Tell me where to shoot. Moore says to quit the Vantelope taming gig. I will be back with a proper tamer, okay? Affirmative, sir. On my way, then. Let's hunt come and night together sometime. run out of space.
spotted me. useful later on. the seaside. Ulkai, Sapa's Daoka is still inactive. If you're looking for its core, my Dolotai guardians have discovered its location. The invader's outpost near the beach. Good scouting, Liaz. I can see the coordinates on the map. Thank you.
How's the tide today? The what? Well, aren't you a fisherman? We call ourselves Fisher Talans. We fish for Sagnecta. My name is Baram, and you are... Call me Cutter Slade. Good to meet you, Baram. Do you happen to own any scrolls? I used to borrow them from the Dano Library before Procreana was attacked. A rich source of information, but they're rare now. There's this librarian, Kureg. He's rebuilding the library. If you have a library scroll, I should probably return it to him. But of course, here it is. The old Talan and the Senecta. A fishing manual. Is fishing Sapa's main thing? Yes, it is. We've been living in isolation since the invasion started, and we fish to survive. Synectus tastes like roasted sword, but we have to do what we have to do. In a way, we have everything we need here, or almost everything. Almost? I heard Yunair is missing. Sapa can't survive too long without a tamer. When is the last time you saw Yunair? It's been too long. I don't know what he's doing. We need more fishing ventilopes to take over from the ones that are hurt or resting. I used to go fishing with my uncle. Can I see the types of rods you guys are using? What do you mean? Fishing rods? I mean, you must be using them to... Oh, you mean fishing paddles? Nope. Pretty sure paddles are for paddling. I don't know what your uncle taught you about fishing, but you got it all wrong. <laughs> Look, here's how it's done. Hello. It's beautiful around here. Enjoying Sapa? Just remember that the beaches are closed until further notice. That's okay. I'll work on my tan later then. Thanks. Your fishing technique is original. But too slow. Sometimes you have to hit so hard to stun a Synecta that it rocks the boat upside down. Fishing for Synecta is much more dangerous than catching the smaller fish that we used to. No matter how many scrolls I read, I can't solve this problem. Maybe I could use my jetpack to skim across the sea and stun the Synectus. That should speed up the task. Remember what we spoke about. Now go! Hi there. If you're looking for Zalip, you found him. But the big question is, why? Why do you want to see me? Are you bringing some lampe? Lampe? You mean like alcohol? If alcohol is a drink that makes you feel lighter, then yes. Trust me, I could use a drink too, Zalip. But I'm as dry as you are. Can you patch me up? Can you be more careful next time? All right, don't move. How can I activate the Daoka? As soon as that thing is back on, other Shamazes will be barging in through the portal, busting my balls with their spiritual this and spiritual that. I'll take a rain check. You know, the Daoka could be a good way to get you Lampe. All the Lampe you want, I bet. You said you were missing the sweet taste of it. Lampe is spoiled by Daoka travel. Everybody knows that. 
But I could use the Daoka to travel to Bida and have a drink there. Now that's an idea. All right, stranger. If you activate Bida's Daoka as well as our own, we can become friends, you and I. The invaders keep the core of Sapa's Daoka in their base. It's the one closest to us. Thanks, Salop. It's a lovely village you have here. Reeks a bit of fish, but hey, who wouldn't kill for an afternoon at the beach, right? What kind of monster would kill for a beach? It sounds more like a compliment in my language. Some things get lost in translation. You think of Sapa, you think of the beach, the sea, I get it. But Sapa is also the soil, plants, beasts, the air we breathe, all connected into one fragile ecosystem, a mother to us all. If you bring war to Sapa and start killing for beaches, you'll have a problem with me, understand? I'll add it to my list. The odds got me solving problems left and right. Ah, uh, you're just like Tanak and Baram and all the other Fisher Talons. They don't care about the ecosystem. All they care about is how the Synectors are having their Oka stock. But their reproduction cycle is only the peaking part of the Reesburg. The Reesburg? It's an expression. It means that there is a part you see and much more to it that you don't see. Right. Go on. They need to focus on the big picture, which is everything is connected. Take Tanakh, for example. He's all worked up about catching Gamors when it's Vantelopes he should be focusing on. Can you tell me where I can find you, Nair? Can you tell me where I can find your balls? They seem to be missing. My... Okay, I will assume this is a translation issue. I'm looking for the Beast Tamer. I'll be out of your hair as soon as I find him. Out of my hair? Does it look like I have hair? I don't know where Yunair is, and I don't care. Happy? What's wrong with the Ventilopes? Nothing wrong with the Ventilopes, you dumb Gorgor. It's us that's the problem. And them, the damn invaders shooting down those poor beasts left and right. How can I heal a Ventilope with the hole where its face used to be, huh? Can you tell me that? Look, I got nothing against the Ventilopes. Or you. The Ventilopes catch Senectas. Senectas give Sapa life. The sacred mother provides. Our fragile ecosystem thrives. Yeah? Hmm. Intelligent creatures. Yeah. You see the power of the Ventilope. Need to go long distances? Simply hop on a Ventilope's back. Need to chase away hungry Gamors? The Ventilope is your beast. Ventilopes! The village seems pretty vulnerable without them. These hands can only heal so many. Without Ventilopes, I tell you, there is no Sapa. And here's Slade. Cutter Slade. And you are? Bored. Getting bored. But you can call me the Beast Healer. They call me that because I, uh, you know, Zaleb heals beasts. I'll stick with Zaleb, if you don't mind. That's all for now. It's going to be a long moon. Hi. Are you the chief of the village? You? You look like a world traveler, an action-oriented fellow. My name is Tanak, and I am the leader of Sapa. Can I ask you something? I'm an open book. Shoot. I don't need a book, but shooting? Yes, shooting is exactly what I'm looking for. How much for the gun? Sorry, Tanak. It's not for sale. Sorry. Let me clarify. I need the hand attached to the gun. Your hand. Pulling the trigger. I'll pay you. What can you tell me about Zalab? Oh, you want to sit and chat with the chief, huh? Discuss the personal life of every single one of my people while sipping on lampe and snacking on grilled senegta? 
Fine. But only after you deal with our gamma problem. Please. The things you do for barbecue. How can I turn the Daoka back on? Portals are powered by old energy cores, free to land technology, and the invaders confiscated them all. So we're kind of stuck here. Anyone who tries to retrieve the core gets reverted by the invaders, including my dear, dear brother. So we just stop thinking about it. They must be keeping it in one of their bases. There you go, action man. Get that brain working. I've forbidden the Talans from going near the closest base, but if you, uh, if you want to steal back the power core and power the Daoka, I wouldn't be mad. I'd be happy. What's your name? I am Tanak, leader of Sapa. What's so special about this little settlement you have here? It's beyond special. This little settlement is the gateway to the Seas of Adelpha. It's a community of fine, upstanding fisher talent and... Oh, who am I fooling? The community dwindles by the moon, our economy tanked once the invaders closed the Daoka, and the only fish left are Synegtas. I've never tasted Synecta before. You like it? Do I have any other choice? Those nasty carnivorous fish have become our main source of food. Mainly because they ate all the other fish. Something to do with the temperature of our waters. But Am explains it better than I do. Talk to him if you want to know more. I'll come back later. Diver down.
for me. Gamor's a dead meat. There's a lot of red meat, actually. But I figured you guys are more into fish, so... That's some fantastic and disgusting news. Good shooting, stranger. This buys our village a little time. You mean these beasts are coming back? What's your long-term strategy, Chief? I don't plan on camping around. Ventilopes can chase the Gamors away. We just need to tame more Ventilopes. And by we, I mean our beast tamer. What's the relationship between Unair and Zalop? Well, have you heard about the Ventilope Club? Ventilope Club? VC for short. They're a group of Talan who want to preserve the local Ventilope population. The creatures are dying out, you see. The club is comprised of our Shema Zaleb and our missing beast tamer, Unair. Guess you can't really call two Talan a group. You're more like a duo, right? What's Zalop saying about Unair's disappearance? Zaleb is what you call a royal pain in the ass. I've tried to ask him about Unair, about the conversation they had the last moon Unair was seen, but all Zaleb kept babbling about was Sapa's ecosystem and how the Ventilopes need a new tamer. Strange Shamas, that Zaleb. Sounds like your Shamas knows something about Unair's disappearance. I can go talk to him. Tell him you're interested in the VC. Maybe he'll like that. Or maybe he'll throw a bowl of lampe in your face. You never know with Zaleb. The guy is moody. Yeah, sounds like a real charmer. What do you think about the invaders? What do I think? Well, they reverted my brother and deactivated our Taoka. So, not their biggest fan. But, <laughs> if you want a good, hateful tirade against the invaders, or anyone in fact, you should see Zaleb! See you later, Tanakh. Yup. You're back already. Okay. How can I join the Ventilo Club? You? You would like to join the VC? Why? Ah, uh, because I... I love Ventilopes. You do? Yeah, I can't live without them. How much do you love them exactly? We don't accept perverts. Whoa, whoa, nothing like that. Look, Zalip, just tell me where I signed to join your special club. 
I want to talk to you about Unair. He's VC2, right? Yeah. I feel responsible for what happened to him. He was just following my lead. Okay, club brother. Us club members have to stick together. Tell me what happened. I can help. Did the Gamors get him? No. I already told Tarnak. Gamors don't want anything to do with Talans. They're just after the Senectus. Yunair knows better than to provoke them. So where is he? Well, I asked Yunair to teach the Ventilopes how to avoid the invaders and their weapons. He told me he could do it, but first he needed to scout the nearby invaders' base. Some reconnaissance to help him think. Damn it! If they got to him, he's probably gone. He's alive. I can feel it. You can feel it? How does that work? Um, it's a Shamaz thing. Besides, his hazardess would be haunting me otherwise. Can you patch me up? Can you be more careful next time? All right, don't move. I will see you soon.
Can't stand here all day.
Are you you, Nair? Maybe. Who wants to know? <laughs> Relax, buddy. I'm VC, just like you. I'm here to save you. Solib sent you. You betcha. Come on, get out of here and run to your village, now. chasing me. to me.
Oh my god! It's Yunair! Where have you been? Uh, you got me worried, brother. I was on the lookout for feathers, Went. Is it okay to discuss VC business in front of Baram? It doesn't matter. We're just happy you're safe. The invaders caught me and threw me in one of their prison cells. No one hurt me, but someone hurt them. Who are you talking about? Well, they don't hurt. Exactly. <sighs> They're machines, you know. Thank you for helping, my friend. The Ventilope Club is in your debt. If there's anything we can do for you, let me know. Unless you can teach your Ventilopes to drop bombs on these goddamn bases, I'll take a rain check on your offer. Did you say bombs? I know a little bit about explosives. That could actually work. Are you serious? I could arrange Ventilope writers to drop anything from the sky. It's not a problem if... Uh, you know, here, uh, how about you get some rest now? Uh, you must be exhausted by your little adventure. Um, yes, Salad, you're right. Now hold on a sec. With your explosive know-how and his taming skills, we can wreak some serious havoc from the sky. It's a stupid plan that would only end up with more ventilopes getting shot at. Zalib, why don't you let me talk to the stranger? I don't like this. Let's go, Zalib. I'll debrief you about my recon mission in private. What are you doing in my house? No one taught you how to knock? <laughs> yeah, sorry. There's no door, so, uh, uh... This is a nice vest you're making here. It's... It's a work in progress, and I don't want anyone to judge before it's finished. Yeah, I can see how it'll make you stand out, even from up there. We have motorcycle club vests where I'm from. They're made of leather, though. This one has more style with the, uh, feathers and all. I still need a few of them to complete the prototype. This one's for Zalib, and it's taking a lot more feathers than expected. <laughs> Zalib is a big Talan. I'm sure he'll love it. You wanted to see me for a reason? How are you feeling? Much better after a big bowl of fried Senecta. The invaders almost starved me to reversion. Do you know what they wanted from you? No. They kept questioning me, but I couldn't understand their language. Good thing you showed up. The village of Emiya needs your help. Me? Why? Could you tame some ventilopes and teach them how to water the treetops of Emiya using the nearby lakes? I could if we had enough ventilopes. But they keep getting shot flying about the invaders' facilities. Where can we find new ones? The trick is not to find them, but to let them find us. Oh, really? Hey, Ventilopes, we're here! See? It's not working, you not here. About those bombs... You should talk to Baram about that. He knows more than I do. I'll teach the Ventilopes how to carry the bombs, but it'll be up to the riders to drop them. Have you started taming new ventilopes? I wish I could. Gamors killed my one female ventilope while I was locked up, and females are the key to everything. Without her attracting male ventilopes to the village, I have nothing to work with. Go get yourself a new female then. Hmm. <laughs> Easier said than done. It took me many moons and a great deal of pain to tame just one. Female ventilopes are the most stubborn animals I know. And with all those nasty knackbees around, it's very dangerous to bring one into the pen. Can you share your methods with a fellow VC member? I'm curious. Anything for the VC, brother. Female ventilopes crave a certain type of larvae. 
neck bee larvae is found in the trees around Sapa. Once I spot a female, I start by smoking the neck bee larvae out of the tree to attract the female. While she's busy feeding on it, I proceed to the next tree and the next, creating a trail that lures her all the way to the enclosure. This method takes a lot of patience and time. We'll need something quicker. I'm not the most patient guy, so I think we need to adjust your technique. Then you'll be saving my life a second time. Without ventilopes, the Fisher Talans are out of work, and the Gamors turn their appetites to Talan. You mentioned knock bays. Anything I should know about them? Knack bees are big flying insects living around Sapa. They're quite dangerous, and their stinger has reverted more than one Talan in this region. They are especially hostile when they feel their larvae is in danger. Big deadly insects. What's coming next to Delphi's Godzilla? See ya.
of storage. Our birdie's singing her love song in the enclosure. At least, I think she is. I'm more of a metalhead myself. You have a head of metal? Like the invaders? No, I mean... <laughs> forget it. Got the female ventilope for you. Bless the yachts. Thank you. I better get ready. Males are probably circling the village as we speak. The ventilope will bring life back to Sapa. What does it take to tame one of those giant cuckoos? It's all in the moves. I'm so glad I took those dance lessons in Kizar as a young Talan. The village of Amiya needs your help. Now they're growing a special plant called Quart high in the treetops and can use some ventilopes to water them. They're willing to pay. I can teach the ventilopes to carry water from the lakes around Amiya, then drop their load on the plants. But your Zorkins are useless in Zappa. Everyone trades goods here. So, what do you want for it? I once tamed this very clever ventilope that used to be so good at collecting rare feathers for me. She would bring them to me from the regions around Sapa, going as far as Emiya, and even Bida sometimes. What happened to your flying friend? The invaders shot at her. She got scared, flew away. She's still collecting beautiful feathers, but she's not bringing them here anymore. She drops them in her new nest. It's the one at the top of the tallest tree I have ever seen. I call it the Feather Tree. I'll get your feathers and trade them for tamed ventilopes for Amiya. Do we have a deal? Absolutely. Everything peachy with a female? I don't know what you mean, but she is already producing ventilope oil. That was fast. What can you tell me about ventilope oil? The females produce it. During mating season, male ventilopes smell it on the females from far away and they come running, or flying, actually. Have a look inside ventilope nests or in the pen where the female is active. You'll find some there. Is it easy to spot a ventilope nest? Yes, they're visible. And you'll certainly find some around Sapa. But if it's ventilope oil you're after, you can also check my pen when a female is inside. We're in the middle of mating season. You might be in luck. See ya.
Can I call you Bar? The name's Baram. Does anyone call you Cut? I kind of like Cut, but no, you're right. You and I here contain more Ventilopes and teach them how to be dive bombers, but I'm still missing the actual bombs. You said you had an idea about that. Back in the moons, before my paddle invention, I had this idea we could fish with explosives. Don't tell me. It wasn't a mind-blowing success. It was a reverting disaster. But the same bombs could do a lot of damage when thrown at the enemy instead of fish. Where can we get some? Bomb-making ingredients are not easy to come by, but I got my samples from the miners in Desan. Where can I find ventilope oil? Hmm, good question. I'm more of a fish oil expert. Did you know fish oil is perfect for protecting your skin against moon rays during the high season? But it doesn't smell great. It scares the females away during Olkastak. Not answering my question. Oh, sorry. Ventilope females secrete the oil during reproduction, but that's the extent of my knowledge. Yunair could tell you more about it. I'll go to Dasan and ask around. Anybody I should reach out to once I'm there? I don't know if he's still alive, because I haven't seen him since the invaders took over Dasan. But a Talan named Brahm was the one who sold me the explosives at the time. Brahm, I got it. He was an engineer like myself. Mining was his obsession, and fishing was mine. But we spoke the same language. He could be a slave now. It's terrible what the invaders have made of Desan. As soon as we can turn some of your Vendelope riders into bomber pilots, we'll get payback. I can't wait. You know where to find me. Yunair is back in one piece, Chief. Bless the Yods for your courage, stranger. If only we could pierce the invader's armor and strike their cold hearts. But we will never fight them off. About that, Baram and Yunair came up with an interesting idea. Ooh, an idea? I like a nice juicy idea. If they found a way to hurt the invaders, I'm in. How can the Chief of Sapa help? Keep training more Ventilope Riders, and tell them this has nothing to do with fishing. This is war. I'll ask you, Nair, to give me the details. Thanks again for your help. You remind me of a bedtime story my mother used to tell me in Kizar. Let me guess, the Ulakai one? I see you're familiar with it, too. My brother used to love that tale. Oh, yeah? That's funny you mention it, because... It's the kind of idealistic propaganda that got him reverted. Sorry to bother you with my gloomy memories. Y you were saying... Nothing. I, uh... Barely remember the story anyway. What can you tell me about Zalab? Oh, you want to sit and chat with the Chief, huh? Discuss the personal life of every single one of my people while sipping on lampe and snacking on grilled senegta? Fine. But only after you deal with our Gamora problem. Please? I've already done that, so... What do you want me to aim at? The Gamors. Mating season's over and they're hungry, of course. So they're coming back to Sapa to feast on us. Can you get rid of them? I've already done that, so... I'll come back later.
desert, here they come. Okay, they all want to play.
Can I talk to you? No, not without a Daramon. The Almayel wants you to bring at least one Daramon to Kizar before I can help you to help me. Or something like that. So, where can I find one? Visit the villages, mingle, talk to people, gain their trust, and I promise you, one of them will give you a Daramon. But don't forget the most important rule! I can't forget something I don't know in the first place, can I? Fair enough, so let me tell you. You never ask for a Daramon. You work until you get offered one! without activating its master, Daoka. The invaders have hidden its core at the top of the village's main pillar. See if you can reach the outpost I'm marking on your map. Consider it done. It's laid out. But it's not done, is it? It's a confusing figure of speech. I'll give you that. What's up, pal? You must be taking me for somebody else. My name is Brom, not pal. You're right. I'm being too familiar. The name is Cutter Slade. Cutting what now? I'll show myself out. Thanks for the chat. Good moon to you, stranger. Don't get your head blown off. Move it. Hey, Draud. What's wrong with the Nom Noms this time? They got shot, man. Talons have Shamazes, but these poor creatures don't have Zorp, so they just die. There must be a cure. Can't you come up with something? No, uh, I wouldn't know where to start. But I heard rumors about a nut job, some kind of beast whisperer who fixes animals. I, I forget which village he's in. Since no one in Dissan's been able to solve this, you might want to try your luck with him. Zanat mentioned him a couple of times. Maybe he could tip you off. Should I bring the vet here? Not sure what a vet is, but no tourist would last more than a moon working those pillars. If you bring me the recipe of a cure and its ingredients, I could certainly whip something up for you. I'll even test it on myself first. I love new experiences. <laughs> Dasan seems like a tough place to start a greenhouse. Pretty rocky around here. It's true. I had to diversify my business. I mix my plants with uh, stones, oil, and nom nom mucus to create bombs and um, other products. I'm also brewing my own variety of black lampe. I call it uh, guar lampe. You might have heard about it. How strong is this Guarlampe drink? Ooh, very strong. It'll flip you on your back. Lampe to the max. It won't fix your crushed foot or broken arm, but it will make your stomach as strong as ancient steel, which is a pretty good side effect in a town with no food. After a few shots of Guarlampe, you're able to eat pretty much anything and survive. Bandage broth, rotten crockett steaks, 
oil dessert or my all-time favorite, dirt souffle in a work pants sauce. Sounds disgusting. What does it taste like? Well, that's the second side effect. Guadalampe makes your taste buds disappear. Hmm, you don't taste anything at all. And don't get me started on the third side effect. Ooh, yacht, damn. Let me guess, a massive hangover? <laughs> You're funny, dude. You know how Talons have 11 senses, but they can't use their 11th sense until they lose one of their other 10, right? One sense goes away, and boom! It is immediately replaced with the next one in line. Uh, no. What's this 11th sense called? It's a pretty new find. Couldn't come up with a consensus name yet. We call it 11 for now. It's like feeling the nature of things around you. You start to know stuff you didn't know existed, like where these things are, their exact place in the universe. Like, after a few shots of Guadalampe, miners start locating the helidium hidden in the pillars with their minds. Mm. It's deep, man. Wow, that stuff must be pretty popular around here. I'm surprised that you're not brewing it every day. I'll have to soon. Ever since the invaders took our Shamaz, this town's drinking more Guadalampe than ever before. You won't feel the pain if you drink enough, I guess. I ran out of ingredients. I need to restock fast. What do you need to brew fresh Guadalampe? I'm sorry, but no matter how blazed I am, I'm not going to share my secret recipe with anyone. Why do you want to brew it? I'm thinking about drinking it myself. I could use some of the side effects. Also, I haven't had a real drink in ages. Uh, no offense, dude. You're not a Talon. Who knows what Guadalampe could do to your senses. I don't want you to go blind so you gain something lame, like the ability to talk backwards or something. Don't drink it unless you absolutely need to. Well, Drowd, you can either run out of booze as the revolution grinds to a halt, or you trust me to help. What do you say? Oh, might as well trust you then. If you get me some Lampe, some Dark H, and the blessing from the LOA Darsham Keeper, I'll brew a new batch. Cool? Where can I grab some Lampe? Not in Dasan, that's for sure. The village of Bida has the most famous Lampe. They deliver planet-wide, if you can place an order. Which I can't, because I'm a slave and I'm stuck here. How much does it cost? I guess that depends. Does the brewery in Bida still exist? I haven't heard from those guys in a while. You should talk to Marzo over there. A Darsham keeper? Why do you need a blessing to brew a drink? Oh, dude, Guarlampe is addictive. Talons can get hooked to it just like that. Abuse it too much and you get reverted. A Darsham Keeper has the power to bless every fresh barrel of Guadalampe and remove their lethal effects. Something to do with the LOA essence? Don't ask. <laughs> Just when I thought I'd heard the craziest this place has to offer. Do you have anyone in particular in mind? Go to Palana and ask for, uh, what's his name? Ude. If we're lucky, he's still the LOA Darsham Keeper down there. He knows the drill. What about Dark Halidium? Relax, dude. You're spending too much time with Bra. Dark H is an essential ingredient in alchemy. I use it in almost everything I create, so don't hesitate to bring more. Oh, boy. Have a good trip. Oh, don't mind if I do. Woohoo!
reminded you. Still not sure what it is exactly. Nah, no space left. gonna hurt. Good to go. Run as fast as you can. Oh, don't worry about me. I'm fast. I used to be a racer in Desan. I won the Silver Cup at the Nam Nam event back in the moons. All right, champ. I'll see you on the tracks then. Hey there. I'm Cutter Slade. Who are you? The name's Nadul. I'm the former chief of Desan. Who's the new chief? The invaders. This village is now an occupied state. Anyone who comes here must be stupid or asking to be reverted. Which one are you, stranger? Well, my ex would say stupid. This may sound crazy, but I've been sent by the Yods. I think. The Yods? They have abandoned us. What's the problem with the Nom Noms? 
Save your questions for the other villagers, stranger. If they start to trust you, perhaps I will trust you as well. But you're their leader. Shouldn't you be working the other way around? Formal leader. In the sun, trust is even more precious than food. If you're sent by the odds, prove it by helping us. Bring a little faith back to these forsaken lands. What did you do in this village? The massive pillars we stand on are filled with different varieties of halidium, the most precious elements in Adelpha. We used to mine the pillars and extracted the halidium for our own benefit. Doesn't look like the mining stopped. We are now slaves, mining for the invader's profit. We're too starved and weak to offer any resistance. I don't know about you, but I'm always grumpy on an empty stomach. How could we enhance the mood around this place? It's too late. We're as good as reverted. Who's giving you orders? Not who, but what. The invaders are machines without essence. Their ever-present drones watch us from above and shoot us when we step out of line. You would think we could deliver enough halidium to sate their appetite, but no. The more we provide, the more they demand. Not even our animals can escape the misery. Their damn toxic waste poisons our non-noms. The invaders are filthier than sewer rats. I'm not sure what you mean, but if you're referring to Damanai, we don't have those filthy rodents in Dasan. Ah, uh, yeah, something like that. For a toxic waste dump, your village looks pretty clean. The invaders dump all their waste at the foot of the northeast pillar, a steaming junkyard infested by vicious packs of krakits. I should get rid of this waste, but even with the Alkas back on, I would have a hard time finding any volunteer for early reverting. I could start by getting rid of the Krakets. Can you describe them to me? Can you describe fear? Only vaguely, and we never really met. Let me get rid of yours. You sound brave. Or brain damaged. Either way, a little toxic radiation shouldn't be a problem for you. If you clean up this mess, this sand will be in your debt. Destroy any toxic barrels you can find. <laughs> Hold on. How toxic is toxic? I don't want to glow in the dark. Or maybe I do. That'd be kind of cool. But seriously, what's in it for me? The invaders are throwing all kinds of useful things in their trash. Help us steal these treasures and we'll share them with you. Well, it's not stealing if it comes from the trash. Rule number one on the mean streets of Cincinnati. I can't handle more drama right now. Do you mind keeping your personal tragedy to yourself? Right. Focus on the trash. I'm out of here. Move it, Slade. They're coming. You hear me? What is it? The people of Dusan are in trouble. Yes. They're the most isolated village since the Daokas went down. And the invaders are using them to mine the pillars. Their cruelty makes me sick. Well, people here are suspicious of strangers. I need a way to gain their trust. Any ideas? The chief is a good talon. I think the others look up to him. Do what he says. And you should be fine. But he wants me to talk to the other Talans. Then talk to them. I'm sure they report back to him. This Ant follows a certain code. You need to play by their rules. All right, I'll try to mingle then. Slate out. Yeah, run out of space. Use a friend right now. My friends bring me food. You got something to eat? Ah, uh, I don't. Sorry. We ain't friends then. Now beat it. 
Yeah, how can you run a race without drones noticing? They got flight patterns you can work around. But even if there were no drones, I couldn't organize a race. What do you need to set up a Nom Nom race? You can't organize a race without a Shamas and healthy Nom Noms. I'm looking for a guy who used to run races here in Dasan. Did a little gambling on the side. Ring a bell? Depends. Who wants to know? <laughs> well, I do. You do? I don't know you, stranger. Maybe Makan took a long walk off a tall pillar. Maybe he's my second cousin, twice removed. I didn't mention his name. So you were Makan. I didn't say I was. Maybe I only heard of him, just like you did. Nadul is nice. What do you mean, nice? Eating a duel is nice. What? No. I would never do that. It's okay. I know some people in Dasan who are hungry enough to eat in a duel. Are you serious? Hunger shouldn't turn them into cannibals. Relax, it's just a duel. I've eaten worse things. But I like Nadul. You're a weirdo. Stay frosty. In the summer? How? Can we talk? I could use a friend right now. My friends bring me food. You got some? Ah, uh, I don't, sorry. We ain't. Drowd, you still need me for anything? I'm still waiting for that lampe I sent you out. Right, coming up. I spoke with Nadul. Whoa, D. I want the same thing you're taking. What? You're not making any sense right now. Says the guy who spoke with dirt. <laughs> respect, my friend. Talk about respect. That's your leader you're talking about. Whoa, whoa, now that's intense. Even for me. All right, whatever. Leaving already? Hey, Braun. Hey, back. You know anything about making bombs? Now that's a peculiar question. Yeah, I messed around with explosives before the invasion, carving out mining tunnels in one of the pillars. But the tunnel was threatening the integrity of the structure, so our former chief canceled the project. Your former chief? You mean Nadul? Nadul? <laughs> what a funny thing to say. You messing with me? Do you know Nadul? Uh, kind of. Why? So can we talk? About... Yeah, you like Nadul? Not really, no. You got some gross thoughts in your head, funny one. Can we move on? Um, okay. See ya. I'm standing right here. Of course you see me.
Nadul. You're talking to me? I don't see any other Nadul here. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're funny. And strange. By strange, I assume you mean mysterious with roguish good looks. No. More like funny in a strange way. Which is good. We don't have a lot of fun in this, son. It's refreshing. The villagers agree, so let's talk. So, what's bugging your nom noms? Nom noms are born under the sea with a small amount of levitating gas inside them. As they grow, the gas gland grows, allowing them to rise out of the sea and float into the sky. When they get old, they go up, up until they disappear into the moons. I read a scroll once explaining how nom noms process elements from their environment to produce the levitating gas. That's a lot of precise information there, Chief. Are you saying the toxic air in the junkyard is poisoning the nom noms? Yes. The junkyard is killing them slowly. The waste must be cleaned and someone has to get rid of the toxic barrels down there. But it's infested with krakeets, so there's only so much I can do. Why do you care so much about nom noms anyway? Nom noms were part of something that defined the spirit of this village. If you want to know more, go find Makan and ask him. I can help you with your little recycling issue, but I'll need you to scratch my back too, Chief. Massages were never my thing. You wouldn't like the rugged fingers of a miner on your back, trust me. We'll share whatever treasure we... Yeah, yeah, sure. I'll take a scrap or two, but I mean, can you use your authority to make your people trust me? They need to know we're fighting on the same team. There are many ways for a stranger to become popular in this, son. Ask Makan about the Nam Nam races. Way to blow off my question, Nadul. I was asking you. Oh, and one more thing. This is very important. Tell Makan that Gamak sent you. Huh? Who is Gamak? I am. I gave you a fake name until I could trust you. Nadul is not even a Talan name. It's what you dig out of your ears with your longest nail. You got me going around town talking about Irgunk? This is not over, Chief. Just tell Makan you spoke with Gamak, okay? Say the phrase Kamilia Makan. He'll open up to you. What's up with the Nom Noms? Some of them got shut up so badly they can't be used for Zort. Your damned invaders are so cruel. Why don't they let those poor animals be? Can you patch them up? Me? Are you serious? How would I do that? There's gotta be someone who can fix them, right? Maybe Drawud could come up with some kind of cure. One time, we all got worms eating rotten morax, and Drawud made a cream to rub on our... Whoa, TMI, Nadul. I'll go talk to him. TMI? Is that what you call the worms in your... TMI means too much information. I got it. I'll talk to Drawud. What do you use Halidium for? For a lot of things. Talans haven't discovered all the uses of Halidium yet, and maybe they never will. It is said that the ancients left Adelpha without a complete knowledge of Helidium, and they occupied this planet much longer than we have. That must be the reason why the invaders are occupying your planet, too. They're after Helidium's secret powers. Some are known. Helidium can hurt, it can heal, it can make your life a dream or a nightmare. Talk to Brom. He is our Helidium expert. Say to him the words, Carmelia Brom. He'll understand. So about that scroll you read, the Nom Nom scroll, did that happen to come from the Dano Library in Procriana? I'm collecting scrolls for this old librarian, Kureg. <laughs> Guy can't hear a thing. It did come from Procriana, but... Look, I'm only collecting them so good old Kureg can rebuild the library. I borrowed it moons ago. I'm well aware of the late fees, and I can imagine it's not raining Zorkins in Dasan, so I'm not gonna squeeze you, Nadul. Relax. Okay. If you help me clean the junkyard, I'll return part of the scroll. Part of the scroll? Why not the whole scroll? I only have that part left. I ate the other part. That's how hungry we are around here. Oh boy. Okay, I guess that'll do. So long, Nadul. <laughs> it's still funny.
Call me Leia, Brahm. And to you, friend. Nadul told me to say that. What does it mean? <laughs> That's a good one. Bram told me you know a thing or two about bombs. Well, I can slap together a jar and a detonation system, but a bomb would still need explosive powder. Explosive powder just happens to be one of Draud's recipes. So you should probably ask him. Tell him you spoke to both Kamak and myself, and we trust you. Or better yet, just greet him with the phrase... Nadul... I mean, Gamak seems to care a lot about nom-noms. Do you know why? Gamak and Makan used to make a lot of Zorkins together. Makan was organizing nom-nom races, and Gamak was one of his first champions. Now the nom-noms are sick, and the races can't happen. No race, no fun, no reward. It's a big hit for both of them, and for Desan's morale in general. Why do the invaders take prisoners? They must be using them for something. I was one of them, but I didn't stay long enough to figure out why they were keeping me alive. It seems the drones can't see the difference between one Talan and the other. Heck, they even shoot the non noms Well, I just had to change my clothes to avoid being caught again. Did you communicate with the invaders? I tried to, but I couldn't figure out their language. They sound like Twan has copulating in a mud pit. You never forget that sound. If you got out, others can too. Well, not without a little help. We can't give any because if we show a hint of rebellion, poof, reverted by drone fire. It's too risky. That being said, I see you're carrying some fancy weaponry. You could serve the revolution and free our people. That would make you the ultimate badass. How do you know I'm not the ultimate badass already? I sure as hell am busy enough. If every prisoner memorizes the plan of his outpost, we could easily steal from the bases later on. I could lead the operation, and we'd share our loot with you. If you work with us, that is. Oh, wow. Tolan Ops, that's got some heft. Okay, I'm in. I can use some of the halidium they're keeping, plus some other goodies. Release the prisoners, and we have a deal. There's a cell in every outpost around the sand. We'll send them back to loot the bases for you as part of the Talan Ops. Anything I should know about Draud? Draud burned his brain out on experimental substances. Don't worry if he seems a bit loopy. He's one of the finest alchemists on Adelpha, and one of Okastok's official suppliers. Okastok? Sounds like Woodstock. Not that I've ever been there. Is Woodstock a sexy festival? Because Draud's a real doctor of love. What can your Talan Ops do for me? Nothing yet. They need to drink Guadalampe, and Draud's barrels are dry. What do you mean? Guadalampe gives us a bit of a, what do you call it? Eleven cents. Sensing the exact location of the loot is the best way to operate. Draud can explain this better than I can, but here's what you'll get from me. Our eleventh cents is how I've managed to optimize the work in Desan. You feel the kind of Helidium you're looking for, and just go right for it. Boom. Talans usually have ten senses? Of course. How many do you got? Me? The same. The same. Why would I have less senses than you guys? <laughs> uh, the drone patrol's a problem. Uh, there are a bunch of armored killers in the sky. Yeah, I think they're a problem. Take them down if you can. It will help our revolution. So you're some kind of rebel, and working for the invaders is your cover? Sure is. They're not suspecting a thing. We keep delivering the H to their bases, but each time we remember the doors, the storage rooms, waiting for the right time to strike back. The invaders caught me once, though. What did you do? I was in the middle of sabotaging one of their drones. 
Not a fun time. I thought they were gonna revert me. They threw me in one of their cells instead. How do you feel about the invaders taking over Dasan? How do I feel? I feel we need to fight these bastards before they revert us all. I know a way to do it. What's that? Stealth. I know how to sneak into their bases without getting caught. I even mapped some of their outposts in my head. They stole everything from us. We can do the same to them without being noticed. Isn't stealing from the invaders dangerous? Not if we're properly organized. It won't happen in one moon. We are committed. Who's we? More than half the population of Desan are rebels, waiting for the right time to strike. And you're talking to their leader. Have you been stealing anything? My Talan ops are on it, but there's been setbacks. Oh, you you do know Baram from Sapa, don't you? Of course I do. How's old Baram doing? Busy with Sapa's uprising. He's got a great plan. Using Ventilopes to drop bombs from the sky. Only thing he's missing is the bombs. Hmm. Does sound like a great plan. I think our village has everything you need to manufacture bombs. And you never thought about using bombs against your oppressors? What would we do with them? Kick the explosive jars at the invaders like we're playing foot rock? At least Sapa has the Ventilope, so we could coordinate with them. For a price. How much are we talking about? Too early to tell. Don't want to put the carriage before the Twanha. First, let's see if we can make a bomb without blowing ourselves up. Thanks, Brom. I'm heading out. I'll be here if you need me. giant bomb definitely not the trip i signed up for tell me the original idea then i was trying a new recipe with uh, chicken meptar and uh sword that stuff is so unstable look at all that smoke i couldn't see a thing a thick smoke screen that's it drought could you do this again or no even better could you create some kind of smoking projectile What's the point? The smoke doesn't get you high, bro. Brahms Talan Ops could use smoking grenades to create a diversion. No one would see their little robbery operation. Haneki, Kar Haneki.
Carmela, Droud. And to you, my friend. You ever make explosive powder? You don't want to eat that. <laughs> I won't. Brom's making some bombshells to send to Sapa. He just needs something to fill him with. Okay, sure. Revolutions are cool, and the moons of the flowers revolution are way behind us. I'm down for something stronger. But to make the bombs go boom, I'll need boogots. What's a boogot? What's a boogot? The mushroom, dude. Come on. An oh. I also need dark halidium. A lot of it. Ask Brom about the old Dark Age. He'll complain, but just tell him I need it. Oh. Uh oh. Uh, my latest creation is kicking in. Mmm. <laughs> I'm off my nips. Is my mouth still on my face? Oh boy. You told me you had a plan to make those smoke grenades I told you about. Yeah, yeah, smoke grenades. Uh, uh, I, I got most of the necessary ingredients, but I still need ticking meptar. I need it fresh, and it doesn't stay fresh very long. Can you get some? Oh, and boogots. The more boogots you can find, the better. You mentioned ticking meptar. What is that? It's a vegetable growing at the top of the northeast pillar. Once it's cut, Ticking Meptar loses its nutrients very fast, so you have to glide your way back here, bingo bango, or you just end up with a useless plant. Where can I find these bugots? They grow in a forest south of Emea. These mushrooms are explosive, dude. Literally. <laughs> so tread softly when you get near them. See you next time. And the time after that, my friend. Yeah, run out of space. Hey, Droud. You still need me for anything? I'm still waiting for that lampe I sent you out for. Right, coming up. Is that the stuff you need? Uh, that's Meptar, all right. Well done. You can bring me more if you get the chance. See you next time. And the time after that, my friend.
been dumping all their junk here.
picked the wrong target, Bird. Blue Hillidia. Sweet. You can leave now. I'm not going anywhere until the Yard send me a sign. Look, I'm your sign, okay? Ask the Almael if you don't believe me. The Almael sends you? Uh, too bad. The food was so good here, but thank you.
I can't feel my arm anymore. Sanat, please help me. Hey, don't cut in line. I saw you. I was here oh, first. Oh, yards. Back to work. I'm missing one toe. I can't play foot rock anymore. My eye. It hurts. Uh, ah! That rock came out of nowhere. Is there a hole in my head? Next. Well done, Zanat. Who are you? I'm Zanat, Shamas of Desan. I need help. Can you heal me? This I can do. Just breathe and let me do the rest. I'm looking for a way to heal the wounded Nom Noms. You have any tips for that? I can heal a Talan. I can heal you. But my essence is useless with animals. Sorry. I mean, there could be someone who could help, but... But what? He may be the worst Shamas in all of Adelpha. His name is Zalab, and you will find him in Sapa. He has a special dedication to animals. Wait a minute. You want to be back in your cell? No. Yard, no. Well, now that you mention it, it wasn't so bad there. What do you mean? You were a prisoner, locked up against your own will. Yes. But the food, it was so good. Really? Well, how would robots know how to cook? They don't eat. I don't know. I didn't see them bring it, but every couple of moons I would wake up in my cell and there would be a lunchbox in the corner. Someone else must have put it there. Not a robot. Who then? We don't have that kind of food in Desan. It was so tasty and different from anything I have ever eaten before. Let's call it a mystery for now. Even if I have a little idea. I have to go. Nah, no space left. And to you, my friend. Can you tell me more about the races? Yeah. Racing the Nom Noms? Tell me about it. I made a lot of Zorkins off those races. If we could ever get the races going again, it would raise the spirits of this town, give us the strength to kick the invaders out. I'm always on the lookout for new talent. I guess your pool is a bit limited with the isolation and all. You got that right, pal. Also, Nom Nom races need a full-time Shamaz on hand, which is the reason why I can't organize a race without Sanat. Yeah, how can you run a race without drones noticing? They got flight patterns you can work around. But even if there were no drones, I couldn't organize a race. I brought the Shamaz back to heal the racers. What else do you need to set up a Nom Nom race? Healthy Nom Noms. I got your Shamaz back. That's amazing. Although I lost a bet with Brom, I didn't think you'd survive. So much trust. It warms a man's heart. I'm still after the cure for the Nom Noms. Have you asked Zanat? He can help you for sure. See you, Makan. Until next time! <laughs> Look who it is. Who? Where? 
calm down. It's just us. Cutter Slade and Nadul. Can you give me that scroll? Kurig needs it for his library. Can I keep it a little bit longer? So you can eat the whole thing? No way. All right, then. Here you go. Thanks, Nadul. Have you met with Zanat? Yes. He took care of my blisters. I can race again. You're... Okay. Won't the invaders have something to say about these races? As far as they're concerned, we're busy working all moon long. It just takes a bit of acting every time a patrol is around. Brahm's optimized solution is buying us a lot of time. <laughs> Clever. Are the Nom Noms healing? It's a process, but yes. They can live long, healthy lives, as long as the drones don't show up to shoot at them. That's a whole different issue. Have a nice one. I don't remember nice. Free to go. Is Brahm sending you? We're friends, yes. Go. Carmelia, stranger. Thank you. I smell a nice upgrade coming up.
Yeah, this is gonna hurt. <laughs> Here and run to your village. I'm too sad to enjoy this moment, but I'll do as you say. friend. May the gods bless you.
How did you end up here? With a group of former harvesters who traveled from Mimia to seek work in the sun. We found a lot of work with no pay, so I got angry and the invaders threw me in jail. I've inhaled poison gas that smells better than that plant.
come.
Hi, Marzo. Mirko came back with fake fruits, which are extremely dangerous. You sure you guys know what you're doing? I'm putting all my trust in your son. He's the brains of the operation. Don't blow up anything, okay? The son's in desperate need of Lampe. Can you send some? No can do. If you send Lampe through a Daoka, it comes out the other end tasting like Twan Hop fish. I can't send a convoy of the pillars either. Not by land. Does it really taste that bad? You ever lick the gua of a ventilope? This tastes worse. Not my thing, but I get the feeling it won't be an issue for the people of Dasan. The taste, I mean. Yad's above, is it that bad there? I heard rumors of slavery. Dasan is 10 times worse off than Bida. Come on, Marzo. They're to land, you're to land. They need your help. I'll send whatever they need. Who should I talk to over there? That would be Draud. <laughs> oh, I know Draud. He's still selling blue hair. Maybe I'll ask him for a couple of crystals for the next orchestra. Another son to help me run this brewery would be nice. Maybe a trade-off is possible. Well, I'm sure you two can work out an arrangement. So, can I count on you? I'm your Talan. Tell Draud it's coming. I'll have Mirko prepare a shipment soon. Mirko's no safer in Bida than anywhere else on this planet. You have to let him go so he can follow his own path. And become a recreator in Procreana? Are you insane? The invaders are hunting recreators for sport. There's no way I'm letting my son revert for some stupid dream. He could be a big help to the cause. What cause? My only cause is Lampe, and Mirko is a big help with making Lampe. Bye. So long, stranger. Hello, Kurag. I'm writing a fascinating scroll about the Galenta. As soon as I'm done, I'm going to shove it in Rifa's face and remember his reaction for the rest of my life. Another shot of straight-up wisdom. Back in the library. Fizz is dumb? I always thought he was, but he reverted before I could tell him to his face. Wisdom. Uh, the only true wisdom is knowing you know nothing. Well, I know a little more than you, but you get the picture. Here's another page of Asio's research. 
Another scroll, Greg. No, it's not. That's a scroll. Are you blind? Here's your payment. A page of Asiel's research. See you later. It's not that early. Slade, nice to meet you. I thought I had a funny name, but you beat me to it, Pilgrim. I'm Uday. What's your deal, Uday? I'm the keeper of the Eloe Darsham. If you're seeking to end your life, you're at the right place. At the wrong time. The Darsham is currently closed. Are you spending a lot of time with Hirax? Not really. He's a bit of a drag. I've been avoiding him lately. You don't talk to him? How do you guys do your spiritual business then? Email? You met email. He was one of my apprentices, yes, but I had to let him go because I can't employ two assistants in the current economy, you know? <laughs> so I sent Ermos, my other apprentice, to talk. Let him deal with Herax's gloom and doom. Now that you mention it, I haven't seen Ermos since he spoke to Herax a few moons ago. You didn't know he was missing? He could just be hiding somewhere to avoid his chores. It wouldn't be the first time. If you talk to Herax, please ask him if he knows where Ermos is. I need my apprentice to keep an eye on the Darasham in case one of those urinating pilgrims shows up. Draud sent me. He needs you and Dasan to bless his barrels of Guarlampe. He told me his sauce could be lethal without your help. He's pretty worked up about it, and it's urgent. Um, that's a firm no. I can't go anywhere as long as the Dioka of Dasan and Palana are disconnected. Also, I'm no pilgrim, and it would be too risky to leave Palana on foot in the, you know, current climate. Let me see what I can do about that. I'll get back to you. I don't even know what traveling feels like anymore. What's the deal with this place? This is the town of Palana, built on the roots of the Essence Vine. All Talans who are ready to complete their lives make a pilgrimage to this sacred haven. Well, you would think they would want to revert at home in their bed watching TV or something. Never watch a TV, you fool! And don't bring any to your home, either. You'd risk burning your eyes. You seem confused, Pilgrim. You should seek the guidance of Herax, our master of ceremonies. What is the Eloway Darasham about? Ooh, a learner. Exciting. Well... Some Talans visit Darashams when they have decided to complete their lives. Talans with the Eloe Essence come here, to the Eloe Darasham, to revert back to the water from whence they came. But since the Darasham is closed, their hazardesses are trapped on Adelpha, unable to reach the Yords, lost and tormented. Seems like the Yods want me to fix your Darasham, so... What's wrong with it? What's wrong with it? You must have come across the lake over there. I can't count the number of pilgrims I've caught urinating in that lake, for Yod's sake. 
you travelers come here, drink a lot of our water, then run to the lake to... What the... Yeah, damn it! Okay, listen, I promise that I didn't... relieve myself in your lake, okay? Why don't you tell me what the problem really is? It's not just a lake! Hello? It's the Eloi Barasham. The sacred gateway connecting our physical world to the eternal realm of the odds? The invaders are polluting it with their waste and degrading its essence. If I make them stop, will you chill? Yes, I'll chill. Two times, three times. You can find them at their putrid fortress behind the lake, but... But what? Talk to me, Uday. Even if you stop the polluting, the LOA Codex would still be far from Palana. The Codex is the Darasham's power source. So I'll find this Codex and bring it back to you. You good with that? By the yard, yes! It has enough spiritual energy to power the Eloi Darasham for a whole cycle. Why don't you have it now? After the Darasham went down, our chief Rumbar ordered every Codex to be returned to their temple. And there they stay, under the protection of the Yards. Goodbye, Uday. Can we talk? What is it? Goodbye, Ude.
Hi there. Good moons! Drowd sent me. He needs... Um, that's a firm no. I can't go anywhere as long as the Dioka of the Sun... Let me see what I can do about that. I'll get... I don't need... I have to go. I'll... Can we talk, my friend? Friend? You clearly don't know who you're talking to, so let me fill you in. My name is Agiton. I'm in charge of the Fae Darosham. Were you planning to end your life in flames today? Uh, I'm good, thanks. Not that you can, anyway. The Darosham is closed until further notice. Tell me about the Fey Darosham. The Fey essence is the essence of hunters, Dolotai guardians, soldiers. Although no soldiers remain on Adelpha, this is the gateway through which their reverted essence can reach the Yods, or it used to be. The invaders have screwed with our reversion long enough. What are you going to do about it, hothead? You should have seen me in my young moons. I would have thrown every last one of them into the volcano since they're so interested in it. Death by lava. Nice, but not my favorite. You're a fighter. Give me one of your weapons and we'll wipe them off at Delpha together. You and me. Whoa, slow down. Don't go breaking a hip on me. Ever since I was a child on Kizar, I've dreamed of being in an epic battle. I was about to join Croax's army, but the Almayel convinced everyone that war is wrong. But this, this is the right war. It should have been my war. And what do I do? Nothing. Goddamn nothing. Well, you don't have to fight on the battlefield to be part of the resistance. There are other ways to contribute. Alana is not powerless. I've heard Rumbar and Hirex discuss the secrets of the Essence Vine. It is our strongest. How can you do that? Well, I'm not sure. They wouldn't share their secrets with me. They're afraid I'd unleash a firestorm. And they're right, I would. If only my Darosham was restored, it would strengthen. What will it take to get your Darosham up and running? The invaders built a base inside our largest volcano, where they reroute the lava to forge their weapons. To bring harmony to the Fey Essence, their base must be destroyed. Well, anything they build, I can unbuild. I didn't say unbuild. I said destroyed! I want them turned into ashes! I see your weapons, Pilgrim! The fire in your eyes! Maybe. So if I destroy their volcano base, your Darasham can get back to business? Almost. There's one other piece to this puzzle. I will need the Codex from the Fey Temple. We'll need the Yods on our side, and the... Where can I find the Fey Codex? Once per cycle. The Codex is brought back to the Fey Temple, so the Darasham Keeper and the Master of Ceremonies can perform a ritual to recharge it. With enough spiritual energy, the Codex can power the Fade. Why did you come back from the temple empty-handed? When the invaders attacked, our chief, Rumbar, ordered the four Codex to be returned to their temples. Business is slow, huh? Slow? Look at this place! Nothing's happening in Palana since these yachtdam invaders landed on our planet must hate me. Hey, don't take it personal. Why would they make me a Darosham keeper, then take away the Darosham? Why would they deny me an honorable fight against our oppressors? What is this place about? 
You don't know? Polana is a sacred destination for all those who want to shuffle off this mortal coil and return to the loving embrace of the Yards. The town is built on the roots of- Look at me. Do I look like a suicidal person to you? Hmm. I see. You're afraid of the final transformation. We get a lot of that. Talk to Hirax, the master of ceremonies. He will- Are you a friend of Hirax? Huh. <laughs> Hirax doesn't have friends. If the Ka Darosham was active, he'd be first in line. Well, sounds like a ray of sunshine. Don't listen to any of his guidance, Pilgrim. Unless you're desperate for a swim in a volcano. That happened before? Sadly, yes. Ask Hirax about Arab. Are the invaders causing trouble in Polana? Not directly. I mean, if you don't snoop around their fortress, they won't shoot you. But, yards above. I dream of showing up on their doorstep with enough firepower to blow them back to the stars. I guess we're done then. Away. Now, how do I find the Codex? The place where we met. What is it? You mean the Gandar Temple? On this side of Adelpha, you'll find one temple for each of the four essences. They're the oldest structures on the planet, and the Talans didn't build them. Who did then? No one really knows. We believe the ancients left them behind, just like the Daokas. The Orcas and temples share the same architecture, and they are connected to the Yod's realm in ways we don't fully comprehend. So who does comprehend then? Essences have a strong presence in the temples. Talans from all over Adelpha used to visit them before the creation of Palana. Anatok was the first master of ceremonies who built Palana way before my cycles. He told his contemporary Darusham keepers that he had found a way to contact the ancients. It is said that soon after he made this claim, he disappeared one moon and never returned. These scrolls were lost with the destruction of the Dano Library in Procriana. Did you get a chance to read the scrolls before they got lost? No, but Zokrim told Jan what the scrolls said, and Jan told me. So one moon, I hope I can tell my own daughter. Dolotai guardians are the protectors of Adelpha, which means we are also the guardians of its oldest legends and traditions.
second parkour to unlock the door.
shit, here they come. Shamaz Kor, good to see you. Just how good? Tell me. Um, like normal good. Of course. How silly of me. Sorry. My mind is stuck on this scroll that I've read for the tenth time. You don't have to worry about that factory anymore, Kor. The chimneys spat their last puff of smoke. Yes. Yes. I feel it now. It is a fantastic moon to praise the balance of the essence. Breathe in, breathe out. I'd understand if you want to take your clothes off, Pilgrim. Be free. All right, all right. Enjoy the clean mountain air. You already seem a little high on it. Can you patch my wounds? A shamas cannot refuse to heal. That's the will of the yards. Goodbye, Kor. Until the next moon. Oh! It's you! Did you happen to meet a pilgrim called Arabald? Arabald! Not a moon passes without him clouding my mind. I don't have the strength to explain what happened. I just need you to tell me where he is, Hirax. Arabold needed to reconnect with his fey essence, so I thought a volcano would be the ideal destination for his pilgrimage. That was a mistake. The invaders built this massive base in the crater. I, I should have remembered because someone told me cycles ago. Sending anybody into a volcano is always a bad idea, Hirax. Don't worry. I'll return Arabal before he turns medium rare. Have you seen Ermos? We were just having a casual conversation about how many stones I would pocket to sink my body to the bottom of the lake. Ermos has a thing with numbers. I don't remember him mentioning... Oh, no. 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 No! What is it? Ermos hadn't taken a bath in hundreds of moons because of the polluted Darosham. He told me how his essence was missing clean water, and I... I just mentioned the Oasis without... Without what? The Oasis used to be one of the most popular landmarks for LOA pilgrims, but that was before it got infested with Z-Dogs. Show me where the Oasis is, and I'll get him back. Bye, Hirax. By yourself. there. Good moons! Is this the codex you're looking for? Yes! The LOA codex! And it's fully charged. This is amazing. Thank you. Don't mention it. So, do you wish to revert now? I understand if you're not sure. 
You should speak to Herax before you take such an important decision. You know, I get this weird feeling that I've reverted a few times since I've been on your planet. We all have. That's the idea, Pilgrim. I have to go. I also have things to do. this blue helidium just sit here. Here they come. We has. Does the name too over no. He was in love with one of my daughter's my guardians. But she swore never to be close to a male again after her former lover reverted. Yeah. She turned him down and court. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm gonna help him revert. A present for your friend. Let her know I'm on my way to your camp. I will. Leah's out.
hate these things. Killer birds, just what I need. play.
open this. Sauna for today, my friend. You want to get out of here? Yods, yes. My name is Arabold, a humble pilgrim seeking beauty in this world. Herax sent me to the volcano thinking I would enjoy it. I didn't. However, my fey essence learned a valuable lesson. If your heart is a volcano, don't expect flowers to bloom there. Your poetry really warms my heart. a heck of a dangerous spot. Oh, thank the yods. I'm Ermos from Balana. Herak sent me here for a bath to rejuvenate my LOA essence. He almost sent me to my reversion. Well, danger averted. You can bathe as much as you want now. You know, being stuck here made me realize something. Life is a bath. The longer you're in it, the more wrinkled you get. If I have to choose between rejuvenating my essence or my body, I choose my body.
I'm sorry, miss. Uh, I'm here because of Tuyol. Remember him? Tuyol? I haven't heard that name in many cycles. And this is probably the last time you'll hear from him. He's gone, but not reverted yet. He would have wanted you to have this first. I... I have never seen such a beautiful thing. I thought Tuyol grew tired of me and forgot my existence. Tuyol was, uh, melting for you. Just like this flower here. Uh, I'm sorry if that sounds more cheesy than romantic. I, I was never very good at this. The odds will reunite our essences one moon. Until then, I will never forget his name. Hammerheat. Oh, it's you. All right. See you next time, Emmerheed. That looks like a temple to me.
goes wild.
Hi there. Got some questions. Yes. Tell me about the Ulakai. People don't believe in the prophecy anymore. Our great leaders, Yan and Zokrim, were deceived by the prophet Khazar to believe that the Ulakai would come and free us from oppression. He came, and we are still oppressed. But the Ulakai stopped Feyran, didn't he? Yes, but the invaders came in their thousands and enslaved us again. Where is the promised freedom, I ask you? The second coming will tell. So says the prophecy of Zokrim. Do you know anything about Emiya? Emiya is a forest village famous for its morags. It's located in the southwest of Ganzar. From what I know, it's still a place of peace. Do you know anything about Desan? Desan is a village in the far northeast, in the hostile region of Sar. It's built... See you around. Come back anytime. Hey, Emerheed. How are you? Not too bad, Ulukai. Always busy researching. All right. the whole battalion, huh?
take down a quantum fence. Essence Shrine. Good old Slade's gonna catch that flying essence. Okay, I need a do-over.
Cam and I chase. You're looking for me? Ah, look at these colorful feathers. Is that what you were looking for? Beautiful. Some of these are rare. Nice find, thank you. They're worth a tamed ventilope for Amiya. Don't hesitate to bring more of these beauties if you need more ventilopes. Thanks, Yunair. Much appreciated. I'll tell them the ventilopes are coming then. See ya. Brahm's a cool name. Where does it come from? From my parents. Where you think it comes from? The moons? Yeah, but... <laughs> okay, focus. Are Nom Noms part of your revolution plan? I don't use Nom Noms. I suffer from vertigo. But the Talan Ops do. Tell me how you've managed to free so much time for the miners. Ah! Uh. Gamak told you about that. It's genius, really. We only dig where the Helidium is, and we know exactly where to find it, so no useless work. We make every miner's pickaxe count. Saves a lot of time, and the production doesn't go down. The invaders don't notice a thing. How is that possible? The Talanops, my friend. The Talanops. Thanks. I'll be back. I'll be here. to blow up the greenhouse. My hug. Hey, 
Hey, Braun. Hey, back! How much you want for the bombs? Sapa doesn't have much to offer. They're suffering from the same invasion you are. A bomb for a fish. How does that sound for a trade? I could make that happen. Especially if you like Senecta. Senecta tastes like Zort. But my gourmet days are far behind me. We'd be happy with any food not coming from the junkyard. We have a deal, then. We know the drone patrol's routines, so organizing transport through the Dahoka shouldn't be an issue. Should I send the first shipment now? I have to go. See you next moon. Good to see you, Nadul. How's life? If I was a poet, I would describe life as a long, blistered trail of broken fingernails and stomach cramps. But I'm a simple talan, so I would simply say that it sucks. And there goes the light mood. I cleaned the junkyard. Wow. Never thought I'd say those words. What a day I'm having. You destroyed the toxic barrels? You defeated the Krakits? Your father would be proud. Yeah. I mean, for the Krakens part. Don't publicize the toxic barrels too much. You get yourself a name doing that, and next thing you know, people are expecting you to clean their toilets, or worse. Not my favorite gigs. Did you hear the good news? Your village is gonna be feasting on fried Senecta very soon. Yes, I heard. That is good news. Although I'll still need the Guaralampe. I remember Sanecta's bitter taste all too well. How come? I was born and raised in Sapa. Really? What are you doing here? I was just a youth when the invaders stormed Sapa, my former village. They turned the place into a bloodbath, slaughtering fisher talans left and right. My brother sent me to protect the Daoka portal, but I did not want to be reverted. So you jumped through it? Yes. Seconds after, it went down. Moons went by and I hid here, ashamed of what I did. No matter how many brothers I meet in Disan, I miss my real brother, Tanak. He is a great leader himself. I became chief here, hoping he would be proud of me one moon. Wait a minute. You're Tanak's brother. He believes you got reverted in the attack. You know of Tanak? I'm relieved he's alive. Maybe one moon we'll meet again. But I'm running out of moons. Oh, don't wait too long. It's never too late to fix family issues until it's too late. I can relate, trust me. Will you organize the bomb shipments? Yes, I will. I'm out of here.
need that. Gotcha. Water's warm.
door's locked. Bless his essence, almighty God, Eloi, so the cycles in his life will count for his eternal reversion. Eloi Darashem is back on track. Who wants to meet their maker? Hey, how's it going? Ah, good moon, pilgrim. My name is Unback. What do you do here? Ah, <laughs> marvelous question. I've been asking myself that for moons now. Basically, I wait. You wait? I wait. One of these moons my master Yala will revert, and I will succeed him as keeper of the Ganda Darushan. Until then, I'm just an apprentice, and a very patient one. What is this place? This is Palana. Our town is built on the roots of the Essence Vine, which makes it a sacred destination for every Talan wishing to revert with dignity. I heard it through the essence vine. That would make a great cover. Ah, that was a joke. It's okay, these are difficult times for everyone. If you came to Palana for guidance, you can talk to our master of ceremonies, Hirax, at your risk and peril. Hirex ain't the cuddly type? He's seen better moons. A master of ceremonies in a time of no ceremonies is a master of none. 
If he starts telling you stories about the Umgan cave, be polite and nod, but don't go there. I'm not sure what the Umgan cave is. Umgan was the first keeper of the Ganda Darashan, hundreds of thousands of moons before my time. It is said that Umgan didn't revert in Palana, but in a cave that was named after him. Who's saying that? Hirax. He tells the tale to pilgrims who are seeking Ganda guidance. It is true that the Umgand cave is a sacred landmark, but... What are you trying to say? Every time Hirax tells the tale, he changes the location of the cave. Doing so, he sends those poor pilgrims on wild Krakit chases. The latest one, a local fellow, hasn't been seen in a hundred moons. Show me where he was sent to and I'll take a look. How the yards would I know? You'll have to ask Hirax for that. You want your boss gone, huh? Is Yellow a jerk? Ah, ha, ha, ha. No, we're all very fond of Yellow. You won't find a quieter Talan in all of Adelpha. I don't remember the last time anyone heard his voice. Okay, some beast ripped his throat out or something? Oh, no, 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 no. He started meditating a few cycles ago and hasn't moved ever since. Not even a wiggle of a toe. Maybe I can make him move. Go easy on him. Yalo's bones are more fragile than the most ancient scrolls. Mr. Darisham Keeper, sir. Uh, do you hear me? Anyone in there? Yo, man. Uh, young people talk like that where I'm from. Yo, man was my great-great-grandfather. And he was still younger than Yolo when he crossed the Fey Darishan. I was checking on your boss, Yolo, and I think you're right. Disco is more active than this guy, and trust me, Disco is pretty dead. Oh, no, 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 no. Yolo has willingly entered a deep meditative state to save his strength for the moon of his reversion. Well, can't you give him a push into the Darasham? Just a little help with the final mile, you know? I can wait. I'm still young, and when the Darasham is finally restored, we'll see what happens. Where's this Skanda Darasham? And how do I get its magic back? The Ganda Darasham is in the sacred cave. But to experience its holy power, the Ganda essence must be restored. Seems I'm the best restorer you got. What should I do? The invaders are destroying our trees and stealing our wood. If they damage the root of the essence vine, Yod's almighty. We lose everything. Do they have a center of operations? We need to hit them where it hurts. Their extraction facility is nearby. I can show you the way. All right. After I smash their toothpick factory, you'll be back to sending hazardesses to the afterlife? Ah. <laughs> Not exactly. We would still need the Ganda Codex, a powerful artifact that connects the earthly location of the Darasham with the spiritual dimension of the Yards. I've already found it. The base won't be polluting the soil for a while. Enjoy it while it lasts. Ah, I can feel it in my essence. Thank you for your bravery. You remind me of an old children's tale. Let me guess, the one featuring a fearless savior named Ulukai. Oh, no, 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 no. That one is too silly. I mean the one about the farmer who was never told to wash his feet. Go figure. The Ganda Codex. I'm afraid I need a crash course on that. Clearly, you are not a pilgrim. Once per cycle, the four codexes representing each of the four essences are brought back to their respective temples. There, 
a ritual is performed so the Yoths can replenish the power of the Codex and it is returned to the Darisham for another cycle. Easy to understand, yes? No, but why isn't your Codex in Polano? Rumbar's orders. He said a Codex is safer in its temple, where the Yoths can protect them instead of us. I found the Ganda Codex. Will it restart the Darasham? Only Yalo and Hirax can know for sure. Have you peeked inside? Yeah, it was glowing with this green energy. A very good sign. I will let Hirax know. Thank you so much for your service. Well, Umbak, Invader's base is down. You got your codex back. Think it's time to take Yalo's place as the Darasham Keeper? Wait until he hears the good news. Come with me. The roots of the Essence Vine should be safe now that the extraction is on hold. The invaders have stopped. This is a miracle. That and a bit of a fight, but it's done. The invaders are going to be busy with repairs for a while. Marvelous. Yala will be so excited about the news. Even more excited than he is now, you mean? Wild. See you next moon. Yod Ganda, welcome this proud Talan to your realm. Let his essence return to where it originated, for that's the cycle of eternal reversion. It's open house day at the Ganda Darasham. Who wants a one-way ticket to eternity? Cheer up, Hirax. Having the time of my life, as you can tell. Hermos is back, safe and sound. He learned a valuable lesson, too. Life is like a bath. The longer you're in it, the more wrinkled you get. His words resonate with me. Thank you. Poor two y'all didn't make it, but his hazard has taught me something. You only feel a cold wind blow while you try to hold on to the past. Thank you, Pilgrim. These words are inspiring. Can you show me where the Umgan cave is? Very funny. Did Umbak tell you to ask about it? Look, I don't need the real location. I'll just go with the one you gave to that poor Pilgrim that got lost. I'll show you where it is. Tell him I'm sorry. If he's still alive. Arabold is safe. He learned something out of all of this. If your heart is a volcano, don't expect flowers to bloom there. Very inspiring lesson indeed. See you later.
you spotted me. <sighs> like I'm not sweating enough. Must be the Fae Temple. I hope I won't have to lava swim my way to the Coda. goes wild.
this ancient tower. It should be the Temple of Ka. Let's find the Codex. Okay, okay, I need a do-over. and try again, okay?
all back for me. Exciting. Can you patch my wounds? A shamas cannot refuse to heal. That's the will of the yards. Here's your codex. Watch out. It's blowing hard in there. I thought I would never see it again. I feel its energy boosting my essence. Thank you, Pilgrim. This will help me to restore the card Arosham. Well, Kor, you got your Darasham back. Congratulations. Waiting for the first leaps of faith in so many cycles. Bless you, beautiful and muscular pilgrim. Ah, uh, okay. Glad to help. See you later, Kor. I look forward to it. Dear your car. We stand united to guide our elder through his time of reversion. May his essence please your realm, like it blessed ours, from this cycle to eternity. Ka Darasham is back. At least this one offers a nice view. What do you want? I got the Codex. Happy to hand this hot potato over to you. Fey essence can be intense, especially when the Codex is at full capacity. Let me take it from here. You served the Fey essence well today, Pilgrim. The invaders built themselves a nice sauna in that volcano. Too bad I had to shut it down. The lava flows once again. The Yods will remember what you did, but you remember this too. The fight has only begun. One step at a time, my hot-tempered friend. One step at a time. I think I did what you asked. Is your Darashem active now? Ah, I feel my essence boiling again. The Darosham is once again ready to welcome Talans and Hazadesses. I could have achieved this without you, but you didn't want to lend me one of your precious weapons. Is that what happened? Stay calm, Agaton. I'll stay wherever I want to stay. He was born from fire, and he returns to fire, seeking fusion with his Yod. Bless his essence, O oh mighty Yod Fay, so the cycles in his life may count for his eternal reversion. Fay Darashem is ready to send you to your final resting place.
doing here? Herrick sent me on a pilgrimage to find the legendary Umgand Cave, and I found myself trapped. But this is definitely the Umgand Cave. Well, how do you know? You see the hazardous right there? Uh-huh. What about it? That's Umgand. He was a poor pilgrim who got lost here, just like me. Thank you for helping us. May the odds be with you. I'll take that. Do you have anything for me? I got these notes from Kurag. It wasn't easy. Thank you. This is all very useful for my research. I won't credit Kurag for his help, though. It's all me. And, uh, you. Of course. I'll mention you in a footnote. See you, Rifar. Of course you see me. We both have eyes. Procliana is still a small hive of talents, but you have revived our hope to restore the buzzy capital of knowledge it once was. This Deruman is our humble contribution to the Talan Greater Union. I will hand it to the Almael on your behalf. Um, no, pun intended, of course. Procriana's Daramon belongs with the Almael. I need to go to Kizar.
Alpha 55, are you on site? Jesus. I've never seen something like this. The drone's video feed is lagging, Alpha 55. Proceed with vocal description, over. Something's degraded the exo armor. I say, some kind of extremely corrosive acid? Can you collect a sample from the scene, Alpha 55? Negative. The substance is still active and consuming the troops exos as I speak. Stay put, Alpha 55. We're sending a team to remove the exos for lab analysis. Uh, guys? Something's wrong. Massive alien insects are... surrounding me! Oh god. Ah! Get away! Get away from me! Alpha 24 to Alpha 55. Please come in. Respond, Alpha 55. Ouch. That's one stingy way to go. Why don't you take the painless route back to your world, guys? in my body.
This is gonna hurt. You have returned.
eventually have to release the whole lot of Excuse me, miss. Bless the message. I've been waiting for you. Wait no more. I'm Nefaim, main festival planner for the Akastok Extravaganza. The Elmael told me you'd be willing to help. You know, she said you were going to be really weird looking, but I don't know. With some berry blush on your cheeks and some highlights, you might not actually be a lost cause. Uh, thank you? Flowers won't grow with the current state of water? Not pure enough, no. Is the water flowing again? What do I need to know about Okastok? Male and female Talans only come together once per cycle in an amazing festival called Okastok. We skipped the last cycles because of, you know, invaders. So everyone in Adelpha is really excited. Except for me. I'm under a lot of pressure to make this event absolutely perfect. Males and females only come together once a year? That must be quite a celebration. Celebrating a small period of harmony. You know, Milea. Once a cycle, males and females put aside their differences and come together to, you know, do something amazing. What kind of food do you need? The best kind? I can order most of the food myself, but it would be so helpful if you could get the Morags. We need loads of them. You can get them in Emiya. Morags. Okay, got it. Kids need music lessons, huh? I'm not sure if I qualify. I, I played drums once in a heavy metal band in high school. Vicious Slade and the Devil Dorks. I, I wasn't one of the dorks. I, anyway, I, I didn't know how to play drums, really. But we were so loud, no one noticed. Have no fear, message. Saren can do the music lessons. If she gathers enough kids to sit still. Saren's a wonderful teacher, but she's getting a bit old. Chasing kids around all day can get exhausting. Right. I'll talk to her. The sacred fountains are dirty? Ugh, those filthy beasts, the Makari. I told the children again and again, just because it's the color of Morag juice doesn't make it Morag juice. Saren forbids the children to drink it, but kids will be kids. I'm no shamas, but I'm pretty sure that's what's causing their stomach aches. What else would it be? These fountains might get their water from one source, right? You know where the source might be? Excellent question. I have no idea. The Almayel probably knows where the source is. Okay, imagine I'm Okastok's bartender. What would I need to refill the bar? The bar? Is that like a male thing? What? No, I... Someone really has to invent the concept of a bar on this planet. Drinks. What do you need to refresh the guests, Nefaim? Something that offers a kick, like lampe. The best lampe is brewed in the village of Bida. Go there and ask for Marzo. I think he's going to be really excited about the return of Augustoc. Him and Saren, they have a long history. I totally see those two together. Is there a problem with flowers? If by problem, you mean there are no flowers left, then yes, there is one big problem. Okay, I'm not a gardener, so good luck with that. The spear shrouds Kizar with a veil of endless night. We don't get much moonlight here, and this is precisely what flowers need to grow. So no flowers then. It's pity, but as I said before... Yes, flowers, silly. We call them milioras, and... They all mysteriously disappeared, but they can grow back. And if you nourish them with pure water from the sacred fountains, Meliorats grow faster than any other plant on Adelpha. All right, Lady Luck. Watering flowers is not the most manly thing for a guy like me to do. I'm sure you could put me and my weapons to better use. What are you talking about? 
You speak as if flowers were a female hobby? How old are you to refer to such dusty stereotypes? I'm too busy here, mister, and I was told you would help. Not that you would only help with manly tasks, whatever that means. <sighs> you don't like the Makari too much. I already told Saren. With Akastok almost here, we can't have any Makari running around. They go crazy when they smell a male Talon around the children. Can you remind her to deal with it? She knows what to do. I'll talk to her. See if I can help. Thank you, message. You can call me Cutter. Why would I do that? Marzo should send the Lampe over as soon as he can restock. I hope this won't take too long. We can't delay Okastok forever. If there's someone who wishes Okastok would happen today, it's Marzo. I trust him to go as fast as he can, but I'll see if I can speed things up a little bit. See you, Nephilim. May the Yods be with you. You have returned. I'm looking for the source of the sacred fountains. The answer lies underwater. Find the flooded cave, find the source. Till next time. Marzo, I got some of that stuff you requested. Let me see. I need a fresh batch of lamp paint ASAP. It's for the Okastock Festival. Okastock? This one's on the house. I'll send a shipment right away. Yacht, we waited for this festival long enough. It's gonna be epic. Rock and roll, then. I'll let Nefim know the lamp is coming. You send my best to Saren. I can't wait to see her again. See you next moon. Now that's enough lampe to forget about the invasion for a while. doing here i couldn't risk using the comm link they may be listening who are you talking about speak dolatai guardian we have spotted a massive convoy en route with reinforcements oh no the invaders are regrouping for an attack on emia we have to evacuate the village we don't have time i'll intercept the convoy before it reaches their base but how the galenta with your permission chief i could take her and maybe yods be with you both ulukai
to that convoy and bring it down. You hear me? Slate, do you read me? I'm sending you the coordinates of a new facility. The quantum field is. Now's not the best time, soldier. Your friends are on their way to eradicate it to land village. Let me check the log. Jesus, that transport ship's got hundreds of armed infantry units. What are you going to do? Improvise. Did you say hundreds? You don't have to fight the troops. A transport ship can be sabotaged from the outside if you have a way to board it. Oh, I got one big flying way indeed. Slate out.
job, Commander. Massive damage with zero human casualties. Yeah, but I have a feeling they'll keep coming. I'd better have an eye on the sky from now on. I'll monitor the transport log as well. By the way, found a decryption code to another quantum fence, marking the position on your map. Understood. Thanks. Slate out. Yes, now this will help. Ulukai, please accept this Daramon as a symbol of our gratitude. Tell the Almayel that Amiya stands with the Talans of Adelpha, united as one nation in the eyes and ears of the Yachts. Thank you, Doc. I'm gonna head up to Kizar with this. I should visit Kizar and bring Amiya's Daramon to the Almayel. What's up, Moor? Find any new climbers? No one as valuable as... How's our new irrigation plan working out? It's working. The ventilopes are taking water from the lakes and dropping it on the plants. Some people below are still getting surprise showers, but it's considered good luck. <laughs> I saw his hand get drenched. He needs it. He's one smelly tomorrow. <laughs> I don't remember the last time I had such a good laugh. You know what? I don't think I've showered since 1999, but it's probably my memory playing tricks on me. Someone in Kizar asked me to provide the island with enough more axe for the next Okastok. Can you help? Okastok? It's been a while. But when Kizar calls, we shall listen. Go to the treetops and harvest what you need. Okastok is good news and a sign that things are slowly getting back to normal. I don't see anything normal about it, but I am just a visitor. Of course. It could also be a giant slaughter of all our males and females at the same place. Not to mention the children. The end of the Talan race. Hopefully the spear will protect us all while we're on the island. 
Catch you later, more. Much later, okay? Budget concerns. Let me remind you that your orders are about gathering resources, not wasting them in unnecessary conflicts. I stand behind my report. Military costs can't be compromised. What's the status on negotiation with the native population? I have put in a significant effort, but all our attempts have been rebuffed. If anything, I'd like to request more reinforcements to nip any uprising in the bud. You lost a precious convoy, General. And frankly, some people here are questioning the leadership that led to such a disaster. That was a technical accident, and an isolated incident. It's all in my report. I assure you that I have the situation well in hand. It's getting hot in there. Eventually, you're gonna run out of... Hello there. You must be the message. I heard you were coming. The Yards really talk to you, huh? Something like that. By the way, the name's not Message, it's Cutter. Cutter Slade. My two Sorkins is that you should stick with Message. It flows better. I'm Seren. How can I help you today? Nephim told me you needed help with the kids, so... Here I am. Ha! <laughs> Great. The little bastards are gonna eat you alive. It's our custom for the children to ring the bells of Nilia during Okastok. That keeps them busy while the adults are... also busy. Know what I mean? But Okastok got delayed, then the kids got sick, and... Enough said. They aren't ready. 
I'm thinking about music lessons, but these little ankle biters butchering sacred melodies can really make your ears bleed. So, how about you teach them? Okay, teach the children. I can do this. I'm a military operative. They're little kids. How much trouble can they be? <laughs> On second thought, take the gun. We only need four volunteers. Good luck! Anything else I should know about the Makari? Yeah. Before Okastoke can start, you've got to help me put the Makari back in their cages. Why? Makari are extremely possessive of the kids they protect. Now there's gonna be plenty of fathers arriving for Okastoke, and they're gonna wanna spend some quality time with their kids, and that's gonna piss the Makari off. They can get aggressive, so that's why you need to put them in the cages. By myself? I'm here to help you with caging them, remember? I'm a mentor. I'll teach you how. That's how we work together, you see? So, are you ready to do this? You're teaching all those kids by yourself? I call it mentoring. I do most of it. They also learn a lot from their Makari. The flashy creatures I've seen around? They teach the kids? Looks like I have to teach you what a mentor does. Listen, every Talan child is raised with a Makari. They're like guardians. They protect the kids, play with the kids, provide comfort, make sure the kids are getting enough sleep. Although it's tough to figure out bedtime when it's always night in Kizar. But hey, where would we be without the spear protecting us, right? I guess the mothers take care of their kids too, right? Whoa, what backwards planet are you from? Female Talons are too busy running the planet. They don't have time to raise children. Did any kid suffer from stomach aches after the visit of the Shamaz? Yes, it happens frequently. At first, I thought this was just an excuse to skip class. But now I'm convinced that the pain is real, even though this curious disease is only affecting children so far. Any idea about what is causing that? I'm not sure. Sacred fountains, probably. The purity of their water is not what it used to be. They are not supplied with fresh water anymore, and... This is something the Almayel should fix as soon as possible. All right, let's give it a shot. Bring the bells down. We need four kids to ring the bells and kick off Okastok. Let's talk again later. Uh, sure. Bye. That's the Makari Nefim told me about.
Come here. Hey, kiddo. Wow, what's wrong with you? Did someone beat you up? What? No. Oh, sorry. I didn't know that was your normal face. I'm Ashana. I'm Cutter Slade, friend of your mom. Seriously? Has she sent you to pick me up? I'm ready to go, now. Whoa, slow down, Firefly. That ain't the plan, but I'm working on getting your mom back here to visit you. I don't want her to visit. I want to leave and fight with the... Sorry. I speak too much when I'm excited. Saren told me it's because my parents are both Fae Talons. Yeah, look, you'll discuss all that with your mom, okay? I'm not the best when it comes to the parenting stuff. Does your belly hurt too? Sometimes, but I don't complain. The other kids whine about every little thing. I'm stronger than them. Oh, I see. Any idea where this pain is coming from? Do I look like a Shamaz? How should I know? Grow, my beautiful Meliorats. Grow tall and... Huh? No, Makati and the flowers, out! I see you hiding there. Don't make me come and... Oh, I'm sorry, Nefaim. Eating Meliorats? Did you fall on your head? No wonder the children are getting sick. She said it's the only way to become a super warrior with superpowers. Who told you such nonsense? Ishana! Uh-oh. Here comes trouble. Don't look at her. What's the problem? This young lady is the mastermind behind the stomach cramps. She told the other children to consume the sacred Meliorats. Why in the yards would anyone do that? My father... He needs me to be powerful when I grow up. Me little rats have power. How else should I do it? I don't want to hear any more excuses from you. You're grounded. You want to have power? Take this and lead your friends. You are all grounded. Now you water the Meliorats. But I don't want to. This is so boring. My trata nurka nu. Sota po, sota po. Zeda ne nani. Shana? Leave me alone. Look, flowers aren't for eating, okay? This is why the kids are feeling sick, isn't it? Don't eat flowers, Ashana. Don't scream, Ashana. Don't punch the Shamaz and the Nards, Ashana. How am I supposed to become a Dolatai guardian if you and Saren don't let me complete my training? This is what you're doing? Training? Why? You're just a kid. My father wants me to fight the invaders and finish what he started. By eating flowers? Come on. Super flowers! Isn't that how you get superpowers? By eating super things. My father keeps telling me to eat my veggies. And last time I checked, flowers are plants. So why am I super grounded again? Eat your veg? No, 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 look. What Yan is trying to tell you is to be a good kid. Not a fighter. You gotta play, learn new stuff, eat healthy food, and enjoy innocence while it lasts. Playing is not fun. I always end up being grounded because the kids are whining about their bleeding nose or 
Whatever. That's not playing, that's fighting. You gotta learn how to play, young lady. Oh yeah? Then show me! Okay, well, let me talk to Nefaim and see if we can figure out a way to do your chores and have fun at the same time. So, Ishana, do you remember your mother? Only in my dreams. She left a long time ago. Do you miss her? I do. And I miss my father, too. Oh, I'm sorry. Thought you never met your dad before he... Before he got... Reverted? I'll tell you a secret. My father's not reverted yet. I'm meeting with him all the time. Meeting him? In your dreams? No. Here. Have you noticed it's always nighttime in Kizar? Hazardouses visit at night. My father's Hazardous is here, in Kizar. Yan's Hazardous? Like his spirit? Where is it now? He comes when Punch is asleep. Punch is my Makari. She freaks out when my father's around. So. Now that we solved the mystery of the stomach cramps, how about those music lessons? Come on, it'll be quick. Help me round up your friends. You like to play games, right? Let's make it a game then. <sighs> okay, smart ass. Which game are we playing? Tag. Me and my friends are fast. If you catch us, I'll convince them to volunteer for a music lesson with you, Ulukai. All right, you better start running then. All right. One, two, three, four. Don't peek! Cut or don't cheat, kid. Five, nine, eleven, fifteen, twenty! Here I come! Too quick for you, kid. <laughs> Too easy, kid. <laughs> hey! Too quick for you, kid. You cheated. I won. Don't be a sore loser. We had a deal. All right, all right. We'll do what you say. Hey, Shana. How's it going? Meh. <sighs> What does your father want? He teaches me about the rebellion and the ways of the Dolatite guardians. I'll grow up to become the strongest Dolatite guardian who ever lived and make my father proud. I think your mother would also be proud. I'm not allowed to ask about her. I don't even know her name. Her name is Liaz, and she is a tough one. Just like her daughter, it seems. Liaz. You want to learn how to ring the bells of Malaya? Uh, bite me with a Z-Dog's head on a stick instead. Saren's music lessons are so boring. Stay out of trouble, kid. I'm already in trouble.
It's me again. So it is. The same message, unchanged. May the Yods favor your quest for our sake. The Almayel hears you. Let me get this straight. To save you from extinction, the Yods want me to put on some kind of Woodstock festival? Celebrating Akastok will allow males and females to unite, and only through unity can we survive this invasion. Ask Nefaim how you can help with the preparations. Like what? Choose the bands? Design the poster? The Almayel has half spoken. I guess not. Let's talk to Saren, then. I have to go now. For now. The Yods are waiting. Coming through. Sending you new coordinates. You want to reach this location ASAP. I got a lot on my plate, soldier. What's this about? I don't know. But the general himself is en route. Whatever my people found in that town, it must be important. All right, I'll have a look. Stay clear of any Alpha officer. Jack Burham wants you alive. I'm a Navy SEAL trained in advanced surveillance and stealth techniques. No one is catching me alive. Nor dead. Slate out. Gotta catch them all. Assessing all alien specimens restrained. I gotta put them in their cage before they escape. Restrained. I gotta put them in their cage before they escape. Assessing all alien specimens restrained. I gotta put them in their cage before they escape. Assessing unidentified alien specimen caught. Contact HQ for proper analysis. 
before they escape. Hi, Nephim. How is the preparation going? I've spoken with Marzo and Bida. The lamp is coming. Wonderful. Is Marzo attending Akastok? He would miss it for the world. Yikes. Then maybe I didn't order enough lampe. We'll see. <laughs> anyway... Saren is the one who should be the most bothered by the news, not me. Thank you for your help. Are we good with the drinks? Not exactly. Now, could you be a cute little ventilope and ask the Almayel to sing the Gaiat song? It will infuse love energy into the drinks. Thank you. Um, okay. See you, Nephim. May the yachts be with you. That's more than welcome. Got anything that depends on... We found more of these, but none of them are functional. Another rebel trying to copy our weapons. Embarrassing. We have to eliminate this savage before he gets it right. He's got to be here somewhere. Jack Borum. Search the perimeter! Okay, well, that's my cue to get Don't out. Don't move! Really? How did you spawn right behind me? 
caught an intruder. Hey, Jack. We gotta stop meeting like this. I... I don't understand. How many of you are here? Tired of offing me, huh? No matter how many times you try, I'm gonna get my daughter back. I will never stop. Shoot him! You already fooled me once. And twice. No more. Go find a worm to pick on. Camilla, talk to me. God damn piece of junk isn't working. You know where my little girl is? Forget about her. This will be over soon, Slade. Not until I say so, coward. Take that. Dolotai guardians told me of the battle in Procriana. Are you all right? Yeah, yeah, the uh, invaders were here again. They think someone in Procriana is manufacturing weapons, or rather, trying to copy theirs. Impossible. The recreators were exterminated. Every last one. I wouldn't be so sure. You have to investigate further, Ulukai. Someone in Procriana must know something. You're right, but let's not discuss this topic on the comm link. They may be listening. Slay down.
Brought the whole battalion, huh?
pipe could be a way out.
do this. Mirko, do that. Mirko, come here. I got a beacon ready for our little experiment. Really? Are you ready to train a garden guard now? <laughs> it worked! This should do the trick and attract a garden door for the training. Whoa. What was that? That is the craft, my friend. Recreator stuff. I was learning from old scrolls, though. I could use some updated instructions. Oh, way to go, Marco. You got skills. Thank you. The device is basic, but it should work. Let's see if I can train a Garandar with the beacon Mirko built for me.
Hey, Kartak. Have you brought my kneecock back? Hmm, I'm not sure. See you next moon. Attack. Have you broke? Hmm. Mirko get Is it? Yeah. You said we were not exactly friends, but you're the longest human relationship <laughs> Forever? Stop talking. Damn it. I gotta go. Hey, are you alright? I'm not trying to get in your business, but are you there? Answer me. New coordinates. Where are you leading me this time? Fine.
reminder that fear should never hinder collaboration between all Yod's creations. May this Daroman speak for the people of Bida. We stand with the Almayel and the Talans of Adelpha. Uh, thanks, Siron. I'll bring it to her. Don't want to be running around with Bida's Daroman in my pocket. Could you let this happen? We need to resume extraction at once. Assuming we have enough drilling experts available, the repairs will still take weeks, General. What kind of sorcery is this? leave. HQ's reporting giant creatures under our feet. They could surface any moment. It looks like the General's starting to feel the pain I'm bringing to his game. Keep on pushing, Slade. New coordinates. Where are you leading me this time? Fine. Ghost me. I don't care. I got other friends. You're looking for me? The Dalk has been pretty useful transporting bombs from Dasan. Don't hesitate to bring more. You guys will have to trade Synectus for bombs. Dasan's miners are hungry. I see. Too bad it takes forever to fish them. Talk to Baram about this. I'm sure you guys will figure something out. See ya. Sorry, we got interrupted. Where was I? Ah, yes. Of course. Where are you leading me this time? Fine. Ghost me. I don't care. I got other friends. Maybe a friend and me can even scope out this place together. Hey, Baram. Thanks for the contact in Dasan. He came through. I'm glad he survived. How is Brom? He's holding up. Sends you his best. Yes. Best what? It's... Never mind. Are we moving forward with our plan? Yeah, but if we want more bombs, you'll have to start organizing Senecta shipments to feed Dasan. The miners are willing to trade. I'll ask the Fisher to lands to prepare something. Now, we need a targeting system for the bombs, but that's not your problem. Here's what you can help out with. We'll be much stronger if you not... I'm with you. If you design the beacon, I can use Oru's gun to mark the bombing area so the Ventilopes can spot it from the sky. Hmm. Filling Krakit lands with 
female ventilope oil could work. Adding green halidium to increase the beacon's radius wouldn't be half bad either. But I don't have the skills to assemble all that myself. I can draw a plan with a list of ingredients, but you have to find someone else. Remember what we spoke about. Now go!